abstract entity. E abstract entity a in the end. So if you are developing something um, ABA program, let's say ABA program, if you you are developing an ABA program, we would need some structures, stru structures to communicate with the object oriented programming or function modules, whatever. So those structures are created in data dictionary. So those data dictionary structures will be used as a parameters between transferring the data uh, between program to program. I mean, method to method or function module to program or whatever it is. But we need a mechanism to do the same communication within the CDSUS itself. So now we know that table functions, when we create table functions, we do use the fields with ABAP data types or ABAP data elements. They are all easily accessible from uh, dictionary uh, DDIC structure. <clears throat> But if we want to, if we want to have a dedicated structure within the CDS layer itself, so abstract entity is the way we can create the structures. This is a completely an abstract entity. There will be, it will not hold any data. It is just a declaration to use that in any of the parameters of um, CDS modeling. So this is majorly required or um, uh, used in the wrap framework. So in the wrap framework, whenever we want to um, use a set of attributes or fields as a parameter, then we do expect to see a abstract abstract entity, and and so. And hence, we will use that in the uh, communication parameters. So sometimes from UI5, uh, UI5 framework, we might need to uh, take the parameter values whenever user clicks a or performs a specific action from the UI5 theory application. So in that case, we do define a abstract entity and the same structure we do use that in the action action of that application so in this case we we will learn more about this abstract entity in a wrap uh, wrap framework whenever we do but for now we can just try creating uh, abstract entity so let me uh, choose the abstract entity or I can straight away create here new data definition test abstract entity So now we will be asked to choose the template, abstract entity template. Create abstract entity. Yes, X not extend. Uh, create. If you see, there is no create abstract entity. So this is where we end up uh, creating new abstract entity. OK. So selected template uses features which are not yet supported by the backend system. So this means um, we are on, uh, I think, uh, 2020 version. So abstract entities are fully uh, supporting. Uh, supporting from. 2021, 2021 on premise version. So here we have define abstract entity with the parameters. We choose this template and we will remove that one uh, parameters. So now just um, 
remove it. Uh, let it generate. All this delay is because of this CDSV activation. It is getting activated in the background. Okay, perfect. So if you see, uh, it has generated with parameters. It doesn't make any sense with parameters here. So I'll just remove it. Now it is same, exactly same as um, uh, a define uh, table function. So table function also, we have the field name and it's a uh, respective data type. Material, for example, and MATNR say here. We can access all those uh, data dictionary data elements, or if we want ABAP types, we can still uh, it, use the uh, ABAP ABAP dot uh, care care of four. So this is uh, plant is ABAP care four. So this structure it it doesn't hold any data basically. So this structure can be used. Um, uh, used in the wrap framework. So unfortunately, we can't activate this one. So this one. It activates equal to CDSU with the parameters. So we range as certain we try and CDSU with the parameters uh, create JC our parameters to in just one of the parameter key e type one day. OK, so you'll you'll get to know whether it is accepting it or not. So a parameter teacher one day a parameter that parameter is not a single parameter. It is a structure. That is what it means in water. So abstract entities are used for that that purpose. So if you see there is nothing. So table function like they want to uh, a class method. Uh, class method uh, class and class method uh, input just them for data retrieval. So Ikada, there is nothing. So it's just a skeleton abstract. It's a plain structure and it doesn't hold any data. Uh, 